guess it's on. Is it on? It is on. Okay. Okay. Yay. Yay. Okay. Hi. It's been a long time since I made a YouTube video. Very. Uh, don't mind my hair. I feel a tad Tim Burton today. Uh, it's my natural curly, but it's kind of like, yeah, it's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, it is have been a while and I'd like to discuss something that, um, a lot of people have a problem with nowadays, which meaning, you know, the, the piggies and you know, government and just not happy people. Happy, non happy people don't like weed. I don't. I, Bob Ross would be so ashamed of all of you if you didn't like weed. Maybe that man didn't even smoke weed, but that man was happy. And let, like, I'm sorry, I'd like to be happy. I like weed. And if anybody has ever had a problem with me smoking weed, I. I'd smoke a bowl. Smoke a fucking bowl. Because that shit is amazing. Um, I couldn't think of really much to say about it because it's kind of a touchy subject for some people. Uh, but my friend Mariah has sent me some questions and she sent me 10 questions so this won't take forever unless if I make it forever. Um, can moldy weed kill you? I, you know what, I, I fucking don't, I smoke weed, I don't have like as much knowledge about it, I don't even know if it gets moldy, it might get because, I don't know, um, if I ever smoked moldy weed, I would hope that my trip would be ten times intense and awesome, but the only thing I could think of is if you smoke moldy weed, you'd end up having like an insane like mushroom trip to where you get like butt naked and right out and into the darkness and like gnaw on a sheep. I don't think I ever want to smoke weed. Moldy weed. No. Uh, if that's what happens, if that's what happens, I will not smoke moldy weed. Because I don't think I want to gnaw on a sheep or a horse. Beastiality. Um, what is your favorite munchie when you're high? Nachos. You cannot, you can never can never go wrong with nachos. You just can't. You can't. Because it's a layer of awesome goodness chips, layer with another like ass load of goodness. So it's like a layer of goodness stacked upon goodness of goodness. And I like goodness. A lot of people should like goodness. And fucking nachos are goodness. You just can't go wrong with nachos! You can't! You, you can put anything you want. There's no limit of like nacho making gotta make love to the nachos. You just, I'm sorry. You, you have to make love to nachos. Orally. I don't think, yeah. I don't think I should go into that discussion in this video. I don't love nachos enough to fuck it. <laughs> but I love nachos enough to eat them and then have sex. Um, favorite, or do you like to smoke it or eat it? I like edibles. Edibles are good. Edibles are... They make me sleepy, if anything. I mean, they get me high, like really high, but they... With edibles, you just get... You, you pass the fuck out, and your trip is just wasted in your sleep. That's what sucks. For me, at least. That's what happens with me. Um, smoking it, for me, is better, because uh, I like to enjoy packing, packing a beautiful bowl with you know, some hash on the bottom and really, really good weed in the middle and a thick, uber awesome layer of Keef. That, that is my Super Bowl. Ha, ha, ha. See what I did there. Um, that is my Super Bowl. I love, I love Super Bowls. These are my Super Bowls and when I have three times the awesomeness in one bowl, it's like nachos, you can't go wrong. Um, favorite strand of weed? Um, shit, I don't think I really have a favorite strand. It's kind of like boobs. You don't really have a favorite. Unless if you... Unless if, you know... People have a favorite pair of boobs. 
that's possible because boobs are boobs. I even know that. I'm a woman. I have my own. Boobs are boobs. Weed is weed. Well, no. I'm not going to say that because I'd probably get shot for saying that. Weed is not just weed. There are many types of different good weed. There are different fucking amazing types of weed. I am not a picky person when it comes to weed. As long as it it doesn't put me in hell. That's all that matters. But it's kind of a Russian roulette with weed in your trip. Don't really know what's going to happen unless you're kind of immune to it. Um, <sighs> favorite pothead movie. She says hers is Grandma's Boy. Grandma's Boy is the shit. I'm not going to lie. Grandma's Boy. Sorry about that. Grandma's Boy is an awesome movie. Probably, I would say, would be number one on a pothead list. Um, I'm going to say my favorite uh, pothead movie is uh, Bug's Life. That's actually mine because you get to put yourself in an ant situation or a bug. You know, like, I'm sure all of you, after watching that movie, you're just like, damn, it's like Toy Story. You kind of wait all night to see if your toys are going to come out and play. Mine still do that. Um, or, I don't know, you're, it makes you not want to go out there and, like, fuck up their anthill because it's like, it took them forever and you're just like, damn it, have you even seen the anthill in that movie? It's, it's like, it, it makes you want to build it for yourself. It's, it's awesome. I don't want to touch that. Unless if they're stealing my, my food. They're st trying to steal my nachos and fuck, I'll, I'll kill them. That's, that's the end of the story. I'm not a mean person. Okay. Do you like Rasta music? Okay, I'm not going to lie. I I'm not going to lie to you people. I, I don't really listen to it. I don't. It's, it's good for the soul for people but when I I like a beat I, I'm, I'm I'm not picky with music I'm not I really am not um sorry uh does weed inspire your artwork I don't think I'm going to explain myself on this I'd actually rather just show you what weed does for me but I will say that I have recently noticed when I do my um, my way of expressing my emotion is through color. I'm a, I like to use color, and um, I like to use it in different ways. Um, here, I'll show you. This is this is what I have been working on for the past three days. Um, it's not done yet, so please please know that it is not done and I normally don't really like to, well I mean I do like to show people before it's done but this is very yeah so this is what happens when I smoke weed this right here this is uh this is what I've been working on it's like a little pot plant and, um there's a uh, a little village here. I'll this is, it's, you know, it kind of looks like a penis. I, I'm not shit you not. That thing, look at that. See the balls and the. That's like a weird, where's Waldo moment probably. Okay, um, that I did last night. All that pink area you see right now, um, it's it's actually very it's very intense for me. See how there is okay. I must show this to you. Yes, that is Tommy Chong, and my version of Tommy Chong riding a green unicorn. Yes, yes, yes. And I was watching Cheech and Chong's Up in Smoke when I when I did that. Um, there is it's a it's going to be a picture within a picture. It's going it may look just like a bunch of stuff jumbled up in it right now but um it will be a masterpiece it will um do people get whiskey dick when they're high <laughs> no 
No. No. Uh, no, they don't. Uh, it's actually really, really nice when you have stoner sex. It is. It enhances everything. And, uh, you know, it, it's kind of funny because at one point you're, you're thinking you're going like 55 miles an hour with it, but then you're just like slow mowing the whole time. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, you gotta love pot. It's, it's, uh, sex enhancer without the Viagra or, um, the whiskey dick. That's why I highly recommend just smoking pot, not drinking. Your dick will stay up. That's not for all men. I'm not gonna lie. That's not for all men. Um, is sex better when high? Haha, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is. It is. You, your vagina tingles like magic. And your, your every touch that you get is just like, ugh. You know, it's, it's pretty awesome. Your, your vagina just ends up talking the whole time. That's not a personal experience. My vagina doesn't talk. It whistles. <laughs> my vagina whistles. No! You know what? I'm not even going to get in that discussion. My vagina doesn't whistle. I was just making a quaif, you know, joke. Um, bong pipe or cigarette type? What is your favorite way to smoke? I like pipes right now. I like bongs. Don't get me wrong. I love bongs. I have a bong. Her name's Pink Lady. That that bong has brought me memories. It was a cheap bong. It's a good cheap bong, but um, right now I kind of like pipes. It it hits harsher for me, at least. Um, although the one thing I hate most when I smoke out of a pipe is that like your pipe decides to say "fuck you." I'm just gonna like rape your throat with my my little pooters, and you get ash in your throat or your tongue. Um, cigarette type? Oh, the joint. Uh, I don't like smoking joints. Um, they're, for me, the, I, <laughs> I have a problem like, getting, like, the end of it wet. Uh, that's what she said. Um, the cigarette, or the bong, yeah, let me explain the bong. Yeah, I like, I, I, just, I like weed. There's no problem with weed. There is no problem with weed unless if you're retarded with it. But you're already retarded after you smoke it. Um, I don't really see the problem with it. Unless if you're six years old and wanting to smoke it, yeah, there's a problem. I think that people should be responsible with it. I don't think... Okay, this is what really pisses me off. I could go to a green relief place right now. I'm, I'm sure, you know, people go there and tell them, you know, I have insomnia, I have leg problems, I have cancer, I have everything. But when people go there and say that they, to, they lie to get the cannabis card, that's what pisses me off. Because you're only, the people doing that are only the people who don't want to get in trouble when they get caught with it. They're they're prepared or they just want to smoke it they just want to smoke it i could go to there right now show them my medical history and i'm i swear i could get that card for free i uh i have an intense medical history and i think it's people like that and people who have cancer and people who have serious issues with their bodies or if they have so I, I highly recommend weed for social anxiety I have social anxiety I do I'm a very shy person in person I'm more of a outgoing person when I'm not around people because I panic like a motherfucker um, I recommend just smoking it to feel better if you're having a really gloomy day smoke a bowl just smoke a bowl You'll love it. It's unless if you react differently. My family hates pot. Um, it is the most I'll ever do, and it's not crack. I'm not. I, I don't look at me. I mean, yeah, my hair is like a mess right now. I maybe you know like took advantage of my munchies, but 
the worst thing that could happen, which is not the worst thing when you smoke weed, is you get hungry. That's it. I, for me, I, that, that's what my mom asked me. My, my first time getting high. I was in a shed out in the middle of Happy Valley with my, my friend Amanda and uh, Ethan. And I smoked weed and I was, you know, I was rocking back and forth. I was, you know, eating munchies out of a palm of a hand. I was like, <sighs> food. Um, I ended up having a threesome for my first time smoking weed. Yeah. It, yeah. I thought I was touching the stars that night. Not because of threesome, because I was smoking weed. Um, and I went home and my mom noticed there was something wrong. Excuse me. Um, my mom noticed I had a look on my face, like of guilt. Because that was the first time I ever tried it. And after you try it the first time, you know, you may love it. But then, you know, when you go home and your mom stares you, like, right into your soul. And she's just like, what did you do? And you're just like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. She used my middle initial. <sighs> Summer D. What? Yeah, I was just, you know, first I was like, <sighs> mom, I smoke pot. You know, the one question, you know, the one answer you kind of get from your, you know, your mom or your dad is, don't do it again. I'm, I'm severely disappointed in you. That is the one thing that I hate most about parents when they, they like, like, we're disappointed in you for smoking pot. Um, I'm not dead. I don't have holes in my throat that I have to, like, smoke out of from now on. I don't have IVs in my arm. I'm completely fine. I still take medication. I take, like, a buttload of pills a day for it. But back to the story of my first time, uh, my mom came back in the room, looked me in the eye and said, so what was it like? I give her one reply. I said, the worst thing that happened, I got hungry. No, in that type of situation is the worst thing that could happen is you run out of munchies. That is the worst thing in the world. Man, I could go for some goodness nachos. You can't go wrong with nachos. Um, yeah. I love weed. It, it brings out the, the craziest artistic shit out of me. Um, I don't recommend it to six-year-olds. Uh, I hope people are responsible with it. And if you keep having bad trips, then don't smoke anymore. If you are the type to keep smoking weed and you can't handle it, then then don't smoke it. It's not going to kill you. It's not going to. It's not going to do anything bad. You're just going to have an anxiety attack. That's the, probably the most that's going to happen. Um, for those who love to smoke weed, high five to you. Um, I like to watch Bob Ross when I smoke weed, and, um, I have a, a tattoo that I got from Phil down in San Diego, it is my pride and joy on my arm, and, uh, I loved it. I actually, when he was working on my Bob Ross Hello Kitty tattoo, which I will show you in a minute, I, uh, okay, don't, don't take this the wrong way. I'm not that kind of person. He was, he was nice. He was the most adorable gay Asian I've ever met. But when he was working on my happy little tree, I jizzed myself. Yes, yes, I, I jizzed myself. I even have a picture. But the, you know, he didn't know. Now he does. Um, I will show you my tattoo. This is, uh, this is my tattoo. This is Hello Kitty Bob Ross. See the happy little tree and sun? And what was really awesome about this is, um, right in the middle, right there, you see that little dot? That is my freckle. And it reminds me of an Indian sun. But yeah, this is, uh, my Hello Kitty Bob Ross.
and it is my um, my pride and joy. Thank you, Phil, for the most awesome tattoo ever, most original and personal, and I will always come to you for my pieces. Anyways, I hope that everybody has an amazing night. I hope that you all think twice of judging people who smoke. Some people do it for healing depression or they're in pain or they just want to smoke a bowl and it's not your right to judge people. Judge yourself before you judge others. We all have our faults in life. We all have our mistakes. Signing off is Giorgio. Have a good night.